Hello and welcome to Decoded Medicine, where we learn the concepts of medicine. Today, let's understand why protamin is given as an antidote for heparin overdose. Heparin is an anticoagulant. Anti means against. Coagulation is the process of clotting of blood. Coagulant is a substance that causes blood clotting. Anticoagulant means a substance that is against clotting of blood, that is it prevents blood from clotting. So heparin is an anticoagulant. The conditions where it might be given could be situations where a person has a medical condition that causes the blood to clot too much and also during some surgeries where there is an increased risk of clotting especially procedures could be things like undergoing cardiac surgery renal dialysis blood transfusion so all of these can pose a risk of increase in blood clotting so to prevent all that you can give heparin antidote is a substance used to counteract the effect of another substance so why will you need an antidote for heparin you see heparin is an anticoagulant so it prevents blood from clotting and if it acts too much if there is too much of heparin in the blood then it can prevent clotting to an extent that there may be some uh, unnecessary bleeding that can happen so it will be necessary to counteract the effects of heparin in those situations the antidote for heparin overdose is Protamin sulfate. The interesting fact to note here is protamin sulfate is also an anticoagulant when administered by itself. So it also prevents blood from clotting. So how does it work as an antidote to heparin overdose? You see, protamin is a strongly alkaline compound mainly because of the presence of a large amount of arginine in it and uh, due to the same reason it's also very strongly cationic and uh, that apart it's extracted from salmon sperm these days we also have a recombinant form available uh, but the most important thing you need to focus on here is that it is strongly alkaline and it is strongly cationic Whereas unfractionated heparin is a strongly acidic and anionic anticoagulant. When the strongly anionic heparin is exposed to the strongly cationic protamin, a salt aggregate is formed and this is inactive, has no anticoagulant properties. Thereby the effect of heparin is neutralized by the action of protamin because of the formation of the salt aggregate which is inactive and lacks anticoagulant properties this action of protamin where it neutralizes unfractionated heparin occurs within five minutes it has a very rapid onset of action and uh, the short life of this medication in the system is approximately 10 minutes so it's cleared from our body relatively quicker it acts very quick as well and uh, another thing to note here is that it's not as effective against low molecular weight heparin like it is for unfractionated heparin I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel to see more such videos and do leave me a comment. You can leave me a feedback or you can also suggest some topic ideas to cover in the upcoming videos. See you another time in another video. Until then, happy learning.